In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the different hand embroidery hoops. A hand embroidery hoop is a tool that helps you in keeping the fabric stretched, tight and taut for stitching. It is not necessary to use a hoop, yet it is widely used for many benefits, therefore I recommend it especially for beginners. The size of a hoop is the diameter of the ring. This is a 4 inch hoop. You would pick your hoop based on the size of your project. Uh, ideally, you would want to pick one that is about 1 inch bigger than the size of your pattern. If you are working on a vast pattern and do not have a hoop big enough, use a smaller hoop and move it to the area you are stitching at that point of time. You will find embroidery hoops made of different materials. The common ones are wood, bamboo and plastic. They have a screw on the outer ring that helps us mount the fabric. There are rubber hoops that are rolled onto the inner ring. Then there are metal hoops too, but they are not so common these days. They also come in various shapes and sizes, big, small, circle, oval and even square, but the circle shape is the most common as it is probably much easier to hold them than any other shape. Here is how you would mount a hoop onto your fabric. Loosen the screw and separate the rings. I'm using a wooden hoop here. Lay the inner ring on a flat surface. Place your fabric over it. Try to center the pattern when placing it on the hoop. Press down the outer ring over the fabric onto the inner hoop. If your fabric is not tight inside, try to gently pull it from the outside and tighten the screw. Your fabric inside should look like the face of a drum. Tap it and you will hear the beat. The bamboo hoop works just like the wooden hoop. Loosen the screw and separate the rings. Lay the inner ring on a flat surface and place your fabric over it. Press down the outer ring over the fabric onto the inner one. Pull the fabric from the outside and tighten the screw. fabric is ready to be stitched on. The plastic hoop works the same way. Since the material is plastic, it is slippery. But don't worry, the inner ring has a lip that would grip the fabric in place. So make sure that the inner hoop is facing with the lip up. Anyway, it is often indicated on the hoop. Place the inner ring on a flat surface with the lip side up. Place the fabric over it. Loosen the screw and press the outer ring over it. You might have to loosen the screw a bit more than usual to slip it over the projected lip of the inner hoop. Then start tightening the screw. You can see how the lip sits slightly over the outer ring, gripping the fabric. This is a flexi hoop made of a plastic inner ring and an outer rubber ring. It does not have a screw, but the outer ring can be slightly stretched and rolled onto the inner ring.
The inner ring has a gutter into which the outer ring falls and sits. Place the inner ring on a flat surface. Then place a fabric over it. And now try to slip the outer ring onto the inner ring. It will be easier to hold the rings closer to you to do this, unlike what I am showing here. It stretches the fabric well and holds it in place firmly. It looks like a nice frame and perfectly displays your finished embroidery work. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you like this video. Thank you for watching.